Alright, Gamer Trick here with a new tutorial. Um, I know I haven't been uploading videos lately since I've been super busy, but I figured I'd upload this one since I have to make it for class anyways. Um, anyways, in this tutorial, it's going to be how to use an image sprite as a link to another page in CSS and HTML. So first things first, we're going to want to make the sprite. So just open up Photoshop or whatever. And once you're in here, you're going to make a new page. So go to New. Make sure it's 72 pixels per inch. And for my width and my height, I'm going to do 200 pixels by 100 pixels. Alright, so once you're on the screen, what you're going to do is just make whatever image you want. Make sure it kind of matches the canvas size. So let's see here, I'm going to make a rectangle. Probably make it the exact size so we could go up here and change it. So it was 200 wide by 100 high. So once you have that aligned, go ahead and add some text for whatever your thing is, unless you don't want to add text, but whatever, I'm just going to add text to make it an example. My font for my web page is going to be Verdana, so I would just set that in there and we're going to say something blarg. And just make sure it's kind of aligned where you want it to be. I just like mine in the middle, so I'm just going to leave it there. Eh, whatever. Anyways, um, once you do that, just make a copy of these two. So you right click on it after you select it in layers and you go duplicate layers. Okay. All right. So we got these two, but what we need to do is change the color. Um, so what you do is just direct select tool on this one and you go to fill and you change it back to the opposite color. Um, what I did was I already saved these two to swatches. So Yep, opposite color. And you have to do the same thing to Blarg. So you just select it and make it the opposite color again. Alright, so once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to select these two layers and you're going to press um, Control G. And that's going to make them into a group because you just want to kind of, you know, separate it from the rest of them. And then what you're going to do is you are going to go to Image, Canvas Size, and you're going to change it. So well, let's see here, with centimeters, it needs to be pixels, and instead of 200 by 100, you're going to do 400 by 100, or whatever double, um, one of them has to be double, basically, of what the other one was. Um, and then the anchor, because I don't want to stack it, I want to do it to the side, so I'm going to move this little dot to here, and I'm going to hit OK. And you'll notice, like, this whole black thing shows up. And then all you got to do is you got to just double-click these, go to the Move tool, and just, yep. Yeah, Derp it right in there, and it should be the exact opposite. Um, once you're done with that, you're ready to save. So all you have to do is go to save, or actually no, file. Um, save for web, because you want to make it a GIF. Well, you don't really have to, but I like making it a GIF. Anyways, just do that, and just make sure all these look right for whatever your settings want to be, and you just hit save. And I'm going to save it in the main file for my actual um, website. So it should be images. And there's another test I did. Uh, and I'm going to call this test 2gif And you're all done with your sprite. So once you're done with your sprite, um, what you need to do is open up Dreamweaver. Or whatever your text editor is. I guess if you don't have Dreamweaver, you could just do um, Notepad or something. Anyways, you're going to go to whatever page you have that's already like saved in here, or create a new HTML, but I'm just going to use one that I already have. And you got your CSS, which is your main CSS file, and your source code. Um, anyways, for your so source code, I already have an example here, and what you need to do is just do a regular um, href tag thingy. And you're just going to, let's see here, so have whatever the link is that you want your image to be is going to be right here so it's going to be href blah 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 it's just a link to a picture of a cat from my other one and your id because you're going to have to make a separate css id thingy it's going to be id is logo link which is just a thing i have or in this case let's see so it's And hit refresh and you should have a little thing that pops up like that. Alright, so once you've reached this stage, what you have to do is go back to your main CSS and scroll down a little bit. And let's see here, under my class selectors thing, <laughs> you have to like define a class. So 
in this case, this is my other example, so I'm just going to make a complete redo of this code here, but instead of logo link, it's going to be logo2. So, let's see here. Uh, let's just make a copy of this whole thing, instead of typing it because I'm lazy and tired. Um, this is probably going to be a really bad tutorial. <laughs> uh, so it's logo2. And all of this will just remain the same, except for this, which we'll change in a bit. And this one was logo 2. And logo 2. Basically, this little um, line right here tells you, like, oh, when it's hovering or when it's active, basically. Um, then here is your width and your height of your actual picture. Text decoration, since we didn't have any actual html text on there we don't really need to worry about that um display was a block url um url is going to be what your image is on your website once you upload it test two dot gif and uh let's go as live and bloop there you go it showed up and what I did with the opposite colors before, like I mentioned, um, or at least I think I mentioned it. Anyways, I did opposite colors. So when you hover over it with all these little scripty things in here, it changes to the opposite color and it kind of looks neat um, just when you hover over it. So basically that's how you get it in here. And once it's in like that, just go back to your source code and you're going to pick a link. And I'm probably just going to look up something retarded online. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's look up a fish. Since my main project is probably going to be about fish. And let's just pick a random fish. I don't know. Uh, let's pick this beta. And you just go to your link. And you just copy the link. Copy it. And you just paste it like right in here. Just the whole thing. And you hit refresh. And just save this whole thing. Just drag your main CSS in there, just to replace your older file. And of course, just replace your older file on this one. There, that should work. Let's see. What happened to my main CSS? Are you serious? There we go! I just put all my files in the wrong place. So I'm so tired that I must have like clicked the wrong thing and messed everything up. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's all you have to do. So basically, you just make your sprite in Photoshop. Then you do your coding, which is just the ahref link with the ID class thing for CSS. And once you're in the CSS, all you have to do is make your class selector. And you just do all these cute little CSS things, and you make sure your background URL is just the image that you saved to your main folder, um, and that these kind of just match your um, Photoshop settings, and then this little line of code is in there to make it kind of interactive. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Let me double check and make sure it actually worked. So for my first one, it worked, and it's just a picture of a cat. And this one, it also works, and it's a picture of a fish. Anyways, that's my really crappy, lame, one-in-the-morning tutorial. I hope this kind of helps. Yay!